No, I wanted to say one uh, interesting thing is, so what we have been observing is that, um, of course, yeah, the specialty cocosine is quite a young, a young sector or young, young development. And so from our observations, when the cocoa beans are really properly uh, treated in origin and properly dried and then packed in, in, uh, in, uh, in hermetic storage, we have perfect results. So I was just uh, wondering, you know, uh, during the <laughs> past eight months or nine months of pandemic, uh, how, how has, you know, hermetic packaging helped? Any, any uh, information on that or any, uh, anything that you have come across? So for the, the pandemic effects of the industry, there are some interesting uh, data and information from the FTCI, uh, which I could uh, share with you. Of course, the sector has been quite heavily, uh, heavily uh, affected. Okay. And okay. so for the storage at origin, indeed, some shippers, they stored uh, even locally in their warehouses in, uh, in Hermetic, just to avoid that they have if stocks stay longer in the origins, which of course happened because, okay, we didn't do that, but some some buyers cancelled contracts and so on, which is really horrible for, for the suppliers, but it, we, we did see it happening. We, we've okay. seen some increase in the use of hermetic uh, packaging in the cocoa industry uh, recently, mm -hmm. uh, notably because there has been more awareness uh, regarding to, to, to uh, the, the moth you mentioned and also mm -hmm. the, the, the conditions where actually cocoa grows are extremely humid, are uh, of, a, of a humid nature yeah. and it's full of bugs everywhere. So it's a very, a very um, rough, rough uh, natural uh, environment, I would say, where the, where, the, where the cocoa grows. And people are becoming more aware of that. Uh, people are also yeah. aware that uh, cocoa is a hygroscopic uh, bean that can absorb anything that's around it, uh, any mm -hmm. aroma, any oil, anything that is within the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, recently mm -hmm. now with, with everything that happened, at least in Guatemala, I don't know if you heard of the two hurricanes that happened here. Uh, a big part of the cocoa area was damaged, sure, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah? So... A lot of people were yeah. also demanding eco tax bags to to protect their beans because of of, of the uh, flooded rivers and uh, the overflowing rivers that went out of their uh, of their normal path. Yeah, normal. They, so this this helped a lot to create a lot of awareness, at least in Guatemala, regarding this issue. But I think worldwide mm -hmm. lately there has been a. Uh, an increasing demand of hermetic packaging for cocoa. Although, as you say, specialty cocoa accounts for 1% of the whole pie. Uh, so in this case, it's still very little and we would expect it to grow uh, in the future uh, yeah. with, the, with the specialty cocoa sector increasing more and more. Yeah. Uh, That's I, I had one, one, made the I had the one pie technical bigger. question <laughs> for uh, Catherine. I had one technical question for you. Uh, when, when they pack uh, cacao in hermetic bags, uh, uh, would you know what percentage of moisture do, you, do they keep uh, into the cocoa bean? Yeah, so the international standard requires 8%, uh, not higher than 8%. For specialty beans, we advise 7%. Um, so okay. we ask to our shippers, uh, definitely if we store in hermetics, uh, to do 7% humidity maximum. Okay. And then we don't see any problems, like for Brazil mm -hmm. and so on, Guatemala, the beans come out really perfectly, still store, keep all the aromas and the delicate notes. So it's, uh, and a bit the advantage of cocoa, of course, compared to coffee is that, yeah, for coffee, washed coffee is definitely, it's a shorter, shorter storage period, but cocoa beans can already, you can hold them longer in a warehouse. So uh, mm -hmm. basically in terms of quality mm -hmm. evaluation, uh, during storage time of, of, of cocoa beans, it, it stays super stable as soon as it's in the hermetic. Thank, thank you so much on, on this whole uh, you know, insight into the cacao industry.